In the previous lesson, we went through the steps necessary to convert a SolidWorks part into a sheet metal part using the Convert to Sheet Metal feature. SolidWorks also provides the capability to add rips and insert bends manually. And we can find those two features on the far right end of the sheet metal ribbon, rip and insert bends. We'll cover rip in this lesson and insert bends in the next lesson. But before we go into the rip feature, let's take a look at the SolidWorks part we have on the screen. Notice in the feature manager tree, I have an extruded thin feature. And if I edit this feature, I have the thin feature selected with a two millimeter thickness, end caps are added, and the end caps are also two millimeters. I'll close out of the extrude feature. And let's quickly view this as a wireframe with hidden lines visible. And you can see the box is hollow inside. So there's basically six sides to the box with it being hollow inside. I am going to return to the shaded with edges view. And now let's go into the rip feature. The property manager opens. The very first window here is prompting me for edges to rip. So I'm gonna go out to the screen and I'll begin by selecting all of the vertical edges. And then I'll select three edges from the top face. Now notice as I was selecting these edges, yellow arrows appear on each edge. These arrows represent how the edges will appear after the rip takes place. When you see two arrows, each edge be trimmed back equally with a small gap existing between them. And currently that gap distance is 0 0.10 millimeters. So before I start selecting these different arrows, let me close out of the rip feature and take a look at how each edge is trimmed back equally. And a small gap exists between the two, and that gap distance is the 0 0.10 millimeters. Let's go back into the rip feature. We'll edit the feature. And this time, we are going to select this one arrow here. Now when I do this, the second arrow would disappear. This is telling me this edge will be shortened, and this edge will not be. So let's go ahead and select other edges. Another way to select these arrows is to do it through the property manager. So if I go back to the window and I find the appropriate edge, this edge here is edge five, I can change the direction by selecting this button here. I find it's faster to do this on the screen. So I'm gonna work through the arrows on the screen and then close out of the rip feature. Not only do we have the capability to add a rip to an edge of a SolidWorks part, we can also add a rip to sketch data. So let's assume we want to add a rip right down the middle of this part on the top face of this box. How would we go about doing that? Well, just like we did in an earlier lesson, we are going to take the rollback bar and roll it back before the rip feature. Now I'll start a new sketch. I'll select this top face and then create a line from midpoint to midpoint. I will close out of the sketch, take the rollback bar and move it to the bottom of the feature manager tree, edit the rip feature and select the sketch line. Close out of the rip feature and now we have a two piece lid with a rip running down the middle of it. And this concludes our lesson on using the RIP feature.